By the end of this short road trip, you will have successfully transferred from Verizon to Mint. I've actually replicated it on my own iPhone, so I know step-by-step -step how to do this. Let's hop into it. First thing that you need to do is connect to stable Wi-Fi. The next thing you need to do is, yes, download the Mint mobile app. Don't worry, you don't need to create an account or sign in as of this moment, just download the app on your iPhone. Next, you need your phone number. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna assume that you're transferring your original number over to Mint Mobile. Most people are doing that anyway. If not, it's pretty much the same process. They'll just assign you a number based upon your zip code. Next thing that you need is your Verizon account number. Now this is kind of tricky to get. I would recommend actually calling Verizon and getting this number from them. Usually it starts with zero, but in my particular case, they just drop the zero and then mine starts with four. But get your Verizon account number. You're gonna have to copy and paste this in. From the same representative at Verizon, you're gonna get an unlock pin. They usually text you a link, and when you click on that link, you just get the pin right there. Copy and paste this Verizon account number and this pin and text it to yourself so that that information is on your phone that you are connecting to Mint. Now this one really tripped me up because the Verizon representative did not tell me that I actually need to go into Verizon Wireless and unlock my number. I thought it's already unlocked, not unlock the device. That unlocks after 60 days after buying it through Verizon. You have to unlock the number. So for your convenience, in the description of this video, I'm actually going to put a special link that when you click on that, all you need to do is sign into Verizon Wireless and there you can click unlock my number. If you don't do this, Verizon will refuse to transfer your number and you will get an error. Next thing you need to do is go ahead and sign up for Mint Mobile. They will send you an email. Hopefully that email will show up on your actual device that you're activating or rather transferring from Verizon. And all you have to do is click on activate eSIM and that will automatically open the Mint Mobile app that you just downloaded. And here's what it looks like from within the app. As you can see here, I'm going to select keep your current one because I want to keep my same phone number. Type in that phone number right here along with your zip code. Then select the carrier you're transferring from. In this particular case, it's Verizon. And since I pay at the end of each month, I am selecting the top option. Get your Verizon account number along with the PIN that we got from steps four and five. Punch in your zip code and then go ahead and double check everything before you hit confirm and submit. Type in your first, last name and email address. A few moments later. You'll probably be getting text messages from Verizon wondering if in fact you're trying to really transfer your number. Just ignore those and click continue. Your phone will be opening up all the settings as it activates the eSIM and now you're going to go back to the app and go ahead and put in a password to actually activate your Mint Mobile account. You will also be receiving text messages from Mint itself thus proving that your new number is in fact transferred and activated. As a semi-irrelevant side note, the marketing is absolutely adorable. Let's confirm that Mint is active on your phone. Go into settings and then click on cellular. Now at this point you should see at the very bottom it should say your number. When you select your number it should show up with mint right there. See that at the very top ultra slash mint mobile? It should say that. If you see that it says Verizon still instead of Mint, then you're gonna have to reset your network settings. To do this go back to settings, go and click on general and go all the way down to reset. Don't worry, this will not erase any of your photos, but this will reset your network settings. Specifically, select reset network settings. The unfortunate part about this is that it will reset your Wi-Fi passwords, but unfortunately, this is the only way to truly hard reset your network. Then after rebooting, Mint will show as your preferred network. When the number ports out, that means when it is released from Verizon and is accepted by Mint Mobile, that means that your auto pay will automatically stop over on Verizon. But just for good measure, be sure to go over to Verizon Wireless and manually turn off auto pay. If you have found this video helpful, go ahead and click on the referral link below so that you might be able to get a discount and I might be able to get a kickback. Hope this helps.